would like to greet the, the saints in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior who is soon to come and take us back home. We are thankful to our God for this pandemic because the gospel does not only go for few people to few people but it goes to everybody out there anyone who has access to social media who has internet can now in, hear the word of god and even the the the, the parents who I, I don't know if they are afraid or what but they to go to church but they love their kids to learn something about god these small uh programs for children short programs for children it helps it it's helping them as well now as the Gomu family we are pleased and um, feel privileged to share this uh, short story for the children and we will share also a when i could sing it we'll share a song and we'll pray and um with everyone out there we thank you for giving us this opportunity to listen to us. May we close our eyes as we pray. Our kind and loving Father, we come to you at this time. We thank you, Lord, for your Sabbath. We give honor and glory unto you, God. We know that your angels are, are, are yearning to come and do your work. But Lord, you have chosen us sinners to do your work to finish this gospel father we humbly ask that you may sit in our lips be the one who speak to your children start with us dear god this is our humble prayer in jesus name amen, amen. we are going to have our short story our cameraman is going to share the story our father over to you, Daddy. Greetings to boys and girls and mummies and daddies all over the world. A big storm and a big fish. <laughs> Jonah realized that it was his fault they were caught in such a terrible storm. Throw me in the sea, he said. Then the storm will come down. At first, the captain refused, but the storm got even worse. Reluctantly, he threw Jonah overboard. As soon as Jonah touched the water, the sea calmed and the storm died down. As Jonah sank beneath the waves, he felt sure that he was going to drown. He called out for God to save him. God heard him and sent a big fish to swallow him up alive. Thank you, Daddy. Master, may you please tell us what can our friend learn from the story? Good morning. And from the story, we can learn that whatever God tells us to do, we should listen because we don't know what could happen. Amen. 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 What did you learn, boy? Oh, Jonah. What did Jonah do? He said, throw me in the water. Okay. And then he says, send a big fish to swallow Jonah. For how many days? So if we don't if we don't listen, what happens to us? We he say he say throw in the water and then uh, and then Jesus will listen a big fish swallow swallow you. Then he comes in the time. Yes. Okay, friends and um, parents. If we obey the word of God, whatever happens in our lives, God will save us from 
from God will save us from all evil that comes upon our lives. We need to strive and be good stewards and do what Christ has have asked us to do. Um, we are going to sing for our little friends. Let's sing Jesus Thank loves you. us. Let's assure our friends that Jesus loves us with the number 15. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Let our ones to him belong, they are weak but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, I know. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, I know. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, I the know. The Bible tells me so. Jesus loves me. He will stay close beside me when away. If I love him by and by, he will take me home on high. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, I know. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, I know. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, I know. The Bible tells me so. Thank you, family. Come back. Thank you, friends, and uh, everyone for listening to our story. May the Lord bless everyone on this beautiful Sabbath. Amen. Amen.